guys, welcome back to Jeep 877 Adventures. We just now got docked here. Ray Wayside Boat Park. That's where we got over right here. Dead 10 times fast with your tongue out. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it looks like right here when you leave off of that area over here where Rayside Boat Park is. And if you go out here, I believe if you go to the right, that is where we start heading to go to, um, uh, was it Silver Springs, right? Yep. So we're gonna go to Silver Springs and hopefully see some mantis and the water should get clearer as we get closer. Hi hey guys, we've been going down for a ways now. Um, we're about two miles now away from where the uh, Silver Springs is. Um, there's a lot of things out here to see. And the water is really pretty clear, really. It might be hard to see from camera, but the water is super clear. You can see right down at the bottom. Nice and blue down there. Oh, coming up to a little sea bank. Got to watch out for that big log down there. So what do you think so far, Cody? I think it's good. It's just a lot of obstacles. A lot of obstacles, yeah. Hey, look at blue. We we did see some antis, but that was back in the beginning um, of the entranceway. And unfortunately, I wasn't filming at the time, so I didn't capture those. Hopefully, we'll see some more though at some point. And I can try to get that captured on on camera here for you guys. Uh, we haven't seen any of the uh, mythical monkeys yet. <laughs> But yeah, you just gotta be very careful with uh, the surroundings out here. The water is really nice and beautiful. The current is pretty strong, really. In some areas, more rough than the rest. It's actually more calmer now. I think the last sign that we saw was, but we're about two miles away from Silver Springs itself. Um, it's a five mile journey from um, Ray Wayside Boat Ramp, which is what we went into. So yeah. A lot of cypress trees and all that kind of stuff out here. Majority of the trail actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the Lake Dora Canal with all the cypress trees. But the nice thing is though is it's not like you don't see nothing man-made. It goes on and on and it's all nature, this whole entire thing. There's nothing, no houses or trailer parks you go through like how you do with the Dora Canal. It's all, this is all, you know, nature. It's out here in Ocala. Very good ecosystem with all the natural resources and uh, wildlife that are preserved here. Yeah, you said that um, the water here, Cody. Um, you said preserves everything pretty good. Yeah. And um, you were telling us, tell me a little bit uh, earlier ago, if you want to go and let everybody else know about this, about how. There's a, there's a secret boat down the water somewhere. Yeah, at the park itself, when you do the tour rides for the glass boat, there's a big ass boat at the very bottom towards the aquifers. And it's perfectly preserved. And they already told people, if you were to take the boat out of the water, it would deteriorate and come apart. So they keep it on the water so it keeps its natural design. Yeah. That's pretty interesting, though, how this being fresh water preserves things like that. I mean, look, look how beautiful that is down there. We've seen turtles. Um, we've seen a couple of gators. Um, how big would you say that gator was we saw? I would say medium size. Medium size? Because remember when we went to the true alligator park? Oh, yeah, gator land. They're huge. We saw an owl too, up in the trees. Cody spotted it. I followed out to it. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're still going down this trail here. Um, looks like we're about one mile away or so from um, Silver Springs itself. I could, we just passed by the old boat dock and what they used to use the glass bottom boats with. Um, we've seen a lot of fish. Big old fish, look at these things. Hope you can see them. Oh wow. Yeah, he did look mean. 
I think we're getting really close to Silver Springs now. Hey, you'll get to see the original Fountain of Youth. Oh, wow. Before St. Augustine, this is where they came to find the Fountain of Youth. Really? Yep, due to the clear water. That's really cool. What about this is the actual spot. Oh, is that the big green thing, the glass bottom boat? Yep, that's the glass bottom boat right there. The green one? Yeah, expensive to go on. Long line. Wow. You got the bigger one right there. Are we gonna dock or uh, turn around? So I guess this is the Silver Springs in right here, right? Somewhere? Yeah. Where's the actual spring at, then? It's not over here, huh? Oh, that's actually where the actual spring is, huh? Yeah. Interesting. It's hard to see from a car perspective on the boat, but on their boat, you can see it. Interesting. Yeah, I guess there's not really nowhere to dock at around here, huh? No public dock for viewing anything. Well, definitely a pretty cool um, cool trail we checked out. You can still see some of the blue water that way in that direction. A lot of um, kayaking and canoeing out here. Hey guys, it looks like we're gonna go ahead and take a break now. We just left from over there from where the uh, Silver Springs um, little glass bottom, bar uh, <laughs> glass bottom boat area is. And um, we're over here, we're having some lunch right here next to this big old area right here. Is this actually one of the springs, Cody? Mm -hmm. No? It's just so pretty. I don't know if you can really see or not, but there's some really big fish down there. Um, Cody was saying that it's uh, groupers, right? Yeah, first part grouper. So yeah, we're having our public subs. I got my sub right here. Cody's got his right there. And uh, we also got our, show, show, show us our, our non-alcoholic rum that we're having. <laughs> our wine or rum. We have some cider. There's some cider, eh? Hey, Mai Tais, we're having some drinks. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and have our lunch and then we're gonna head back um, back to the trailhead where we began and um, see what else we can find along the way. There's some really cool stuff out here, probably about turtles. Um, well, it looks like people are on trails over there. Somebody walking over oh, that's there. That's why I said there's a trail that leads to the old dock. Oh, okay. Wow, there's some jumping fish and everything. A lot of people out here kayaking, canoeing. It's just really cool, and I really love it right here next to this big hole right here. Well, I don't know if you can see those those big old fish down there, but they're huge. I really hope you can see it from the camera. Well, we had our lunch, whatever, and um, going back down to the canal, and it looks like we're right up over here, and we're about to be back at the uh, Ray Wayside Park. Well guys, we finally made it back from our big long adventure. That was pretty uh, pretty fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Pretty long uh, trail to get there though, about an hour to get out there to get the boat in the water. Then it was about, what we were out there, like four hours almost in the water? About four and a half hours. About four and a half hours in the water. And then we made it all the way back here. And by the time noon kicked around, it is hot. We left here around 6 a.m. We got back, what is it? Some, oh, good God, it's 1.40 now. Um, yeah, so we're out there for a long time, and that was the adventure. It was pretty fun, though, wasn't it? It was fun. We saw some manatees. Saw some manatees, saw some alligators, saw some uh, big, big groupers, um, gar, 
it just goes on and on. It was big ecosystem. Definitely. Well, till next time, keep on watching GDP 877 Adventures.